In today's top cryptocurrency news, March 03-02-3, in the first new, Solna faces lack of appetite from US regulators, says Austin Fedra. The Solna Foundation's head of strategy said he had heard from projects facing pretty draconian rules in the European Union related to liability of illicit crypto transactions. In the second new, price analysis 3.3, BTC, ETH, BNB, XRP, ADA, DOGE, MATIC, SOL, DOT, LTC. Concerning news from Silvergate Bank, an FTX may have influenced investors' decision to press the sell button, but the potential for further downside could be limited. In the third new, total crypto market cap takes a hit amid Silvergate Bank crisis. The total crypto market cap slipped below $1.0 to $5 trillion as concerns over Silvergate Bank's solvency triggered a sharp sell-off in BTC, ETH and altcoins. In the fourth new, Crypto Biz, did crypto winter scare off Visa and MasterCard? Visa's head of crypto has pushed back against the notion that the credit card giant is getting cold feet because of the beer market. In the fifth new, how do the Fed's interest rates impact the crypto market? Cointelegraph analyst and writer Marcel Peckman explains how the US Federal Reserve's interest rates impact the crypto market. In the sixth new, Bitcoin price tumbles amid investors' aversion to risk assets, but there is a silver lining. Market analyst Charles Edwards says that while there are good reasons to exercise caution, investors' risk of sentiments and expectation of a recession could be overblown. In the seventh new, Coinbase announces acquisition of One River Digital Asset Management. As part of the acquisition, Coinbase said One River Digital's team would join the exchange and CEO Eric Petters would stay to lead the firm under the name Coinbase Asset Management. In the eighth new, Bitcoin price settles at $22,400 as daily RSI retraces 2023 bull run. Bitcoin's RSI is back at square one as the mood among traders becomes uncertain after 5% BTC price losses overnight. In the ninth new, consensus ZKVM set for public testnet to deliver secure settlements on Ethereum. Consensus will release its ZKVM roll-up to its public testnet on 28 March, paving the way for an eventual mainnet integration later in 2023. In the 10th new, Top 7 Wall Street Movies You Must Watch Discover the best of Wall Street cinema with these top 7 films, featuring captivating tales of finance, ambition and power. In the 11th new, Regulation and Risk Factors driving demand for a euro-backed stablecoin. The world's second most widely held reserve currency seems to be underrepresented in the stablecoin space. In the 12th new, the metaverse is testing the limits of what is legally possible. While digital events and spaces have become increasingly common over the last few years, is digital reality the right place for all types of gatherings, such as court proceedings? In the 13th new, Dollar's sharp recovery puts Bitcoin's $25,000 breakout prospects at risk. Persistent inflation and a strong labor market create conditions for more Fed rate hikes in 2023, which may push Bitcoin down against the US dollar. In the 14th new, Coinbase cutting ties with Silvergate forces crypto hedge fund to find a new bank. A total of five crypto companies ended their partnership with Silvergate Bank on 2nd March after a series of lawsuits and investigations against the bank. In the 15th new, Ripple survey, 97% of payment firms believe in the power of crypto. The lack of regulatory clarity is the biggest hurdle to the adoption of crypto-enabled payments, according to a new survey co-hosted by Ripple. In the 16th new, UAE free zone to explore Bitcoin payments for services, lawyer says. The free zone for virtual asset firms in the Ras Al Khaimah Emirate aims to foster regulated and non-regulated activities. In the 17th new, why is Bitcoin price down today? Bitcoin price is down today after Silvergate Bank liquidity concerns combine with an exchange margin cascade, pressuring crypto markets. In the 18th new, 
U.S. lawmakers argue SEC accounting policy places crypto customers at risk. While the bulletin was intended to provide clarity regarding the accounting treatment for digital assets, it has been criticized by both lawmakers and regulators. In the 19th new, Binance USD market cap falls below $10 billion amid rising regulatory concerns. Bust's market cap is down by nearly $14 billion from its all-time high of $23.49 billion, set on 15th November 2022. In the 20th new, Celsius custody customers finally begin withdrawals to 163 days after freeze. Celsius users with funds held in its custody program have finally begun to withdraw funds, but users report delays due to a backlog of requests. In the 21st new, SEC objection to Voyager Binance.us deal questioned by U.S. judge. A United States judge scolded the Securities and Exchange Commission over its vague objection to Voyager's restructuring deal and asked for specifics on its concerns. In the 22nd new, Ethereum code developers push Shanghai upgrade to early April. The final dress rehearsal for Shanghai has been slated for a 14th March launch, while the real thing will happen a few weeks later. In the 23rd new, Bitcoin price slides 5% in 60 minutes amid Silvergate uncertainty. The price of BTC fell sharply on 3rd March, wiping $22 billion from Bitcoin's market cap. In the 24th new, MicroStrategy, Tether adds to firms distancing from Silvergate as stock dives 57%. MicroStrategy confirmed that none of its 130,000 BTC is custodied by Silvergate. However, the firm does have a loan to pay off to the bank by Q1 2025. In the 25th new, $3 million OKX airdrop, one hour due diligence on 3AC, Binance AI, Asia Express. OKX reimburses $3 million to users after alleged market manipulation incident. Binance unveils AI-generated NFTs and FTX Japan users made whole. In the 26th new, Binance not planning any layoffs, 500 roles to be filled in H1. A Binance spokesperson told Cointelegraph that they hired 600 people since January and have no imminent plans for layoffs. Today's news ends here. Tomorrow there will be more news. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with cryptocurrency news. See you tomorrow.